All right, this was supposed to be a morning thoughts video, but I have to talk low. I just dropped brains off to school, and I am here with Kai Kai. Every time I try to record the video, because I'm using two phones, every time I try to record the video, somebody call, cut off the video. So I was supposed to start this off by saying morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts, and have a positive, progressive, productive day, and love yourself, and don't forget, to respect yourself don't forget to eat good because health is wealth you understand take care of your health I've said this before the most the richest man in the world will give back every penny and everything he owns once that health starts to fail just to get that health back right remember that and carry it with you today all right with that said we are going to a story now people family is supposed to live good together you know Family is supposed to be people you can trust, yeah? But this story which involves this man and his father and his wife is something else. So may I go read it for you now, because somebody sent it to me on WhatsApp. The man said, and this man is telling his story from the hospital as the nurse is checking his, um, as the nurse is checking his blood pressure. So the story says, I just left my wife in my bed. I'm a host. I may drive off to work, but after me reach a halfway tree, me forget my ID, and so me decide to turn back and go for it. Me started. He stated that on reaching his house, he heard sounds like a person was in pain. Ooh, uh -huh. them kind of sound there, <laughs> like a person was in pain. So he was thinking that his wife may have had an accident in the house. So he rushed, even faster now, rushed into the bathroom where the sound was coming from. The trembling man then stalled for a few minutes to allow a nurse to take his blood pressure. This is at the hospital. The man said, in his words, Me can't believe my boss. When me rush into the bathroom, my wife naked upon the bathroom cupboard, and my father a make out with her orally stated the angry sales representative so remember you know this man just left let me, let me finish reading first me partially faint when me see my wife a bite her lip and a carry on in such a manner that she don't even do when me and her doing the thing he then stated that when his father realized that he was standing over him him just get up wipe him out I walk straight out of the bathroom. He rushed for a knife and launched at his father, but his wife grabbed hold of his hand and she started crying out, Help! Help! No, don't do it! <laughs> Boss, hear what the man say. Boss, me no same have him license gun, you know, but me don't free of him. Honest to God, so me, it no go nice. He stated, me and my wife married for four years now. And I feel it in a way that me just pass out when me see it. And the next thing me know is that me find myself yaso in the doctor office. When asked what he will do next, he gazed for a few minutes as if in wonderland. And then he stated, after me leave the doctor office, I go call my mother a foreign and tell her, and then me go, me go visit a marriage counselor and make them tell me what to do about my father and my wife. Listen, my SoFlow TV audience, what I want you to do is leave a comment in the comment section and tell me what you would do had you been the one in this situation. Had you been the one, like it's your father, and you come in and see, and women can partake too, if it's your husband you left in bed and went to work and raw oh, suddenly forgot my id oh gosh me have to go back real quick so you spin around come back and by the time you reach back your mom spread out upon the upon the furniture in the bathroom and your husband beating it like he don't even do with you or your mom having relations with your husband and him carrying on as if in ways that you don't even experience with him. 
So you can flip it vice versa. But this story was about a brother who went to work, forgot his ID, turned back, not left the house more than 10, 15 minutes. It's like them couldn't wait for him to leave, right? That's what I'm thinking. They couldn't wait for him to leave the house. So obviously, you know, this ain't nothing new. And can you imagine the deceit? The deceit. Um, Things like this, when we talk about things like this, is to enlighten some people. I remember one time I said something to a family member about one girl when we did that with. And I remember that family member saying, oh, stop your foolishness. It's your uncle. And I'm thinking now how, how naive, how naive that family member. It's an elder family member of mine. And I'm thinking how naive that person must be. Or they just want to play naive. We live in a world where anything is possible. And I don't put nothing past nobody. You understand? So remember, you know, you have uncle molesting nieces. You have fathers molesting their own children. Matter of fact, stay tuned because I'm going to do a video next where I talk about a story that just went down in Brooklyn, New York with a pastor. All right, and him like a daughter, and me I gotta tell you how the whole story break and everything. Mrs. Scatter have it up, and me I gotta talk about it a little bit from my own perspective. But I'm telling you, is and I know this video is gonna have a lot of y'all looking at your mates funny and revisiting what you really think about your mate. When me said don't trust humans, I mean don't trust humans. Hear me, I say, put your trust in the Most High. Don't put your trust in man. We're often disappointed because we put our trust in humans and humans are only humans. They fail. You're human. You're bound to make mistakes. This no, I don't know, mistake. This is just straight nastiness. Right? No honor. No respect. Imagine that. Imagine you as a man and you get up and leave your wife. Gone at work. But your, your father lives at the house with you. And you decide to come back home and this is what you walk into. Your father going down on your wife. And she enjoying it. Your whole world is shattered. Your whole world is shattered. And a girlfriend, you know, is not side chick, you know. This is wife. And usually when man, wife, woman, a man decides, say, yo, you know what? It's her. This is who I want to be with for the rest of my life kind of thing. Me, I married her, take myself off of the market, take herself off, take she off of the market, build, build life, foundation, and build up with her. So to go from that chain of thought, marriage and everything, to your dad, your, your dad is... I don't know how I would take that. This morning when I did this video, I was laughing so hard I couldn't stop laughing. Right now, I have to talk somber. Because like I said before, it's a kai kai back there. So. I don't know if you can see him. Just a quick glimpse. He's knocked out. All right, And I'm waiting for Brains to finish our exam. So we can pick her back up. Yeah, we have two vehicles. And yeah, she can drive. But. We do. We out on the road today doing some business, and I figured it was one on one. You know, we like to spend a lot of time together. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But anyway, leave your comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think about that story here. And what would you do? And if you're right now in a situation where you are suspectful of the individuals that you are living with or sharing, um, sharing house with, right now. Because trust me, somebody in this comment section is going through it and don't even know it because you haven't caught them yet. I'm going to close this video up by saying this. Somebody said to me, yo, may not even bring, I don't bring nobody come to my house. I'm not letting nobody stay at my house. If I bring my brother come on my house, I'm just increasing the chances of my brother being able to sleep with my wife or my wife um, coming on to my brother sexually. And I, say to, I said to that person, if those are the kind of people that you have in your life, then you don't need those people in your life. 
you don't need to have a brother around if that's what you think about your brother and you don't need to have a wife around if that's what if you think your wife is capable of all that then you don't need to have a wife either but then again me sit down and me look at it and back to what i said in the beginning of this video you can't trust anybody and you can't put anything past anyone me not care who yeah somehow we can't even trust yourself much less Leave your, leave your comment in the comment section below, man. It's SoFlow TV. I'm out. Peace.